All right, guys, I'm going to cook some uh, pork sirloin chops that I picked up at uh, Rouse's. There's one, two, three, four, five chops with uh, bone in. They were on sale for five oh eight. Couldn't pass it up. I'm going to cook it on my pellet grill. I'm going to cook it just like I would do on a barbecue pit. I no longer own a barbecue pit. I purchased this Rectech um, pellet grill, and that was the best decision I've ever made. Um, cooking has gotten to be so much better, so much easier. I cook all the time on it. So um, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to marinate these up a little bit. I'm going to cut up some lime. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put lime on it. i got a um, salt and pepper and garlic mixture. Um, I'll put the on the comments below my mixture of um, how I mix it and I'm gonna put some olive oil on it and season them up real good. I'll show you that when I'm finished. I'm gonna, I take some lime and I just squirt it on top. I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'm gonna rub them in there real good. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on. My chops, I want them to, kind of like a binder for my seasoning. So I'm just gonna use plain salt and pepper and garlic mixture. Just gonna keep it simple. sides. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on this side, up, down. Helps for that salt and pepper to stick to it. And if you notice, I'm Kind of keeping this hand clean where I can pick up my stuff and I don't have to worry about cleaning it up after so much. All right, I'm gonna let these sit for a little while. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for my um, my uh, glaze that I'm gonna put on it. Um, it's an old recipe that. Everybody uses it down here in Louisiana, I think. So I'll show you how I do that. I have this old fashioned Jack Miller's barbecue sauce. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some in, um, in an old pan right here. And I'm gonna get some um, vegetable oil and I'm gonna put like a half and a half mixture in it. Heat that up, mix it all up to where the, um, the oil will come to the top. And what I'll do is I'll take my mop and I'll mop on there and I'll mop on, the, on my chops so that it just it gives it a pretty color and a pretty a great taste because the stuff tastes great um i'm gonna cut up some chives and i'm gonna put in uh, in here just to add a little bit of flavor and season it up a little bit i'll do that and i'll get back with you so i'm gonna add some of this into this bowl right here See and I'm gonna take some vegetable oil and I'm gonna pour that in there. I'm gonna take my chives, put that in there, and I'm just gonna put it on the stove and put it on simmer. I'll probably bring it to a ball first and then put it on simmer and just let it cook its way through. I'm gonna put a little bit of Salt and pepper in there. And I'm 
can see in a little bit. We'll start it up a little bit. And after it's, it simmers for a long time, you see all that oil on here? That's all going to come to the top, and all the good stuff is going to be at the bottom, but the oil will be flavored with this Jack Miller sauce. And we'll use that Jack. After I mop, I probably won't have any oil left. It'll just have the good stuff, all this stuff at the bottom, that most of the oil will be gone. And we'll use that for a, a dip, you know, to, to dip our barbecue in. You have to be careful because this this will get hot real fast and ball over real quick and you don't want to make a mess. You can see my little bit of balling I have right there and that's all I'm looking for. Just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to put it on simmer. I'm able to turn on my Rectech grill from my uh, Android phone, so I'm gonna set it at 250 uh, and put my chops on once it reaches its temperature. Let's see what it looks like. See, I'm just gonna use this top part to mop my my pork chops with my well, pork steaks. I think these are more would be called. I went ahead and I turned my pellet grill on to 250. I'm gonna let it warm up. I, I, like I said, I have the Rec Tech. It's got the bull horns on it. This one is the Stampede. Go ahead and check, make sure I have enough pellets in it. Push my pellets to the front, because it, it usually starts going down right here, so I kind of keep it all my pellets to the front of it. Once I get it um, warmed up, I'll go ahead and put those pork steaks on there with um i have some deer sausages that we did 50 50 um half deer and half hog so and it comes from lanos in lafayette louisiana they do an amazing job it is so good so i'll get back to that i'll get back to you whenever i put that on the pit let's check on this just to see how it's doing oh yeah I'm gonna move it to a smaller burner because I have it on low and it's just going way too much. Let me get this out the way. We're gonna put it on this smaller burner right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of sweetness in there. I have some Steen's pure cane syrup that I'm gonna put about that much in there. Stir it up. Try not to make a mess and you see what I did already. Like a bull in a china shop sometimes. Put this back on. It's on a smaller um, burner so it shouldn't get as hot. On the Rectech, they have um, probes that you can put in. It's all Wi-Fi. Goes over to my phone. This is the first time I cook pork steaks on it, and since I have these um, probes, I'm going to use them to kind of give me an idea. Because you want to, on a pellet grill, the, the one downfall, you can't keep opening up the, um, the lid. Um, it kind of throws it off whack a little bit. You want to try to leave the lid as closed. Leave the lid closed as much as possible. So I'm going to hook these up. And then now it's a reading that will come up. There's a little spot right here. You put it through here. Right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my deer sausage on. I got the pits warmed up to 250. chops. I let them, I marinated them for 45 minutes. So they're ready to go. You want to put them back in the refrigerator after you season them up. 
the only meat that you can really leave on the counter to get room temperature or this beef. And the last thing you want to do is get sick. You can see the smoke that's building up in there. So out before I close it, I'm going to find my deepest pork chop over here and I'm going to get it in there where I can get a temperature as I'm cooking. I want to stay away from the bone. Woo, the smoke's getting coming. So now I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to cook these to about 160 internal temperature. A lot of people like it at 140 pork. We're more on the, um, our family's more on the medium, uh, well done side. So we like, uh, 160 is a good number for us when we're cooking steaks and stuff like that. So that's where I'm looking at to get these. I'm going to let this go on this side for a good long, probably an hour. And I'll, um, I'll look at it, probably flip them over then. I'll see what they look like at that time. I'll get back with you on there. On a pellet grill at 250, you're getting really good smoke. So that's what I'm trying to do here. It's coming along pretty good. On the temperature, I have my, uh, my sauce ready. As you can see, all the all has come to the top. It's got all the flavor in there. It's got a pretty color. So I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Probably let it get to about 140. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. And then I'll go ahead and sauce them. The chops are about 140 right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I got a white glove. I'm gonna pull the probes out. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these gloves on top when I'll burn my hand. And I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. I'm going to sauce it. Try to start getting some color to it. Cook it slow and low. You're not going to get a whole lot of color right off the bat. Got a good smoke flavor to it. The pellets I have in here right now is a mixture of um, hickory, post oak, and maple. The sausage looks really good. And if you look, it looks really pretty. This. Uh, Look, glaze, and I'm just gonna use a brush for it. I'm just using the all, just to throw a little bit of all on top of it. It's gonna give it some nice color. Go ahead and mop the sausage too. This stuff tastes really, really good. You want to kind of try to hurry up and do this and get this hood closed up and let it cook. I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to start watching it more like I would do in a pit because I didn't have the probe before. Um, you know, it's already 140 degrees, but I like, I mean, I don't have much color on it, so I need to get some color on it. And um, I don't want to overcook it. But we'll see what happens in the next 20, 20 minutes. I'll look at it again. We made a run to Costco's um, and we picked up, we saw this. 
and this really looks good so I'm gonna use both of those packs and it says on the back to put it on a brawler but I'm gonna kick up my pellet grill to probably 475 450 and I'm gonna put it on a tray and cook them on the pellet grill and then I'm gonna we picked up a bag of these frozen um, string beans. I'm gonna make um, a teriyaki string beans, that, that, which is amazing. That um, my son actually came from my son's uh, friend's dad who cooks it and he came home and he says, Dad, you gotta cook this. So I'll show you how I cook it. And um, it, it's real easy and I'll put all the ingredients on the bottom of, in the description. I'm going to take a look, just see what it looks like. Yeah, it's got a while to go. Like I said, it's the first time I cooked these. I'm thinking about, I may have to kick up the heat on it a little bit to put some color on it. But we'll figure it out. The potatoes were frozen, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of boiling water. I'll just bring it up to a ball. And then I'm gonna shut it off and just put the lid on it and let it uh, thaw out so I can put it on. I'm gonna put it on this tray right here and put it back on the barbecue pit at like 450. All right, let's take a look at it, see what they look like. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's turn them over. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to kick up my fire, keep up, kick up my heat to get the color I'm looking for on this Rectech, on this pellet grill. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this, just use the top. And I think what I'm gonna do is what they call reverse sear it. So I cooked it low and slow. It's been a good while. I didn't keep track of how long. But it sure looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this thing up to, let's see. I'm going to go to. Four fifty, and we're gonna sear. We're gonna sear it up real good, and then we should be. It should look a lot better, and it. I mean, it's cooked. It's almost cooked now, so um, I just want it to look a little better before I serve it and plate it. So I'll get back to that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan down. Just right here for um, the potatoes. They're all thawed out, ready to go. Got it open. Oh, they smell good. On the back of it, it shows they were put underneath chicken that would broil and all the drippings from the chicken went onto these potatoes. So they, um, oh, I'm still a little frozen. Try not to mess them up too much. I should have taken it out earlier during the day.
my grill at 475 and I'm gonna put these on there for probably 10 minutes get them nice and roasted because they, they already cooked let's get them roasted up real good and then we'll start the um, string beans and I'll show you how to do that because that's something that's it's so easy to make and it is delicious I have the uh, string beans ready in this bowl just a microwave bowl I'll put it in there I got some muffins in there from last night we're gonna put it in the microwave, believe it or not, for three minutes. After this three minutes, we'll pull it out, stir it, put it back in for three more minutes. So I'll show you that in just a little. I have these ready for the, um, the grill. Some of them got a little messed up, but that's okay. I have enough that's gonna really look good and it's gonna taste so good. Gonna check it on it. It's Grill's at 400, it's kicking up to 450. But I can hear them, boy, they sizzling up pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them. Yeah, they are looking good now. Turn that sausage over. Wow, it's looking good gonna go ahead and mop it again got one hidden way back there we're gonna go ahead and do the sausage again go ahead and close it up let it heat back up and um, I'm gonna come check on it in just a little bit. Went three minutes on these. I'm just gonna take it, kind of shake it up, shake it up. Drop one, but I'm gonna leave it. Put it for three more minutes. And let it finish right there. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do it in a saute pan with it. So we got the string beans softened up in the microwave. And then here's the ingredients that I'm gonna put together and I'll put it all in. I got some parsley, soy sauce, teriyaki, uh, smoked paprika, some bacon bits, thyme, sesame seeds, onion powder, garlic, and some rosemary. And I'll um, start off with putting off, putting some oil in a pan and get this string beans even softened softened even more. I'm gonna check on these uh, steaks again. Get out some light focus. Yeah, they're looking good. Smells delicious. So I have a half a teaspoon of everything you saw, except I went one teaspoon of parsley and one teaspoon of bacon. And the rest are uh, half a teaspoon. I have some olive oil heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my my beans in there. So I'm letting it cook a, cook a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my ingredients. Stir that around. Now it's time for the good stuff. I'm going to get some teriyaki sauce and some soy sauce. Got teriyaki sauce first. You can see how much. Quite a bit. A little bit of soy, not as much. Get this all mixed up.
go ahead and put some of my salt and pepper mixture. There we go. And I'm going to cover it and let it simmer. Until everything else is ready. And I'm going to put it on a um, smaller burner so it doesn't burn it. So I went ahead and pulled the meat off. It looks good. It's all ready to go. I'm going to let it rest for a while in here while my beans are cooking. Yeah. So I have the potatoes on. Grills at 482. Go about 10 minutes. We'll see what it looks like. This is the first time I do my stream beans that are frozen. And I will tell you, they're so much tender. I will go this route from now on instead of buying the um, fresh ones. Wow. give you an idea of the smoke that's coming off of these potatoes that I'm cooking right now a lot of that's from that oil um, that's heating up but it's gonna be good okay so it's been 10 minutes let's take a look at it let's see what they look like I think we can go about five more minutes on these well this was the first time I did this Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know some of the video is kind of shaky. I'll get better at it. I enjoy cooking. Um, as you can see on my rest of my YouTube page, uh, I was diagnosed with stage 4 renal cell cancer in May of 2019 and um, was basically told to go home and, and die because there was nothing that can be done. Um, Jesus is still healing. I'm here as his testimony and spreading the word, spreading the gospel through my testimony. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a preacher, I'm a regular old country guy that loves to cook, loves to fish. I'm from Louisiana, I'm Cajun. Um, I like to cook Cajun, I like to cook outside of the realm of Cajun. So if you like what I'm doing, please like my YouTube um, channel and subscribe to it. And I'll be doing a lot of cooking and and talking about the gospel and so if you know somebody with cancer please send them my way and let's share this journey together i'm going to plate my food take a picture of it and put it at the end of the video thank y'all so much um and for the ones that are watching y'all have a blessed day well this is my finished product it was very delicious and i will most definitely cook it again Thanks again for watching.